like talk about shaking up your life, cleaning your energy, healing, spinning in vortexes. My life is still spinning right now. I have not landed. I have, to be honest, I've been feeling a little bit frustrated and I would say I would label it as feeling down, but I don't think I'm feeling down more. It's just like not knowing where I fit, like being a key, but not knowing what hole to go into to open. And um, anyway, today I just said, you know what? Today is an amazing day and I'm sticking to it. And today is an amazing day. And, and I started driving and I kept getting this message over and over again. I have angels on my side. And I just want to say to you, I have angels on my side and so do you. I want you all to know that I just wanted to stop in and do a little update video because what I've been posting on my YouTube in the last several months has been basically my travel vlogging. So hopefully you guys were able to watch um, my travels through Peru, which were outstanding, amazing, life-changing, frustrating, crazy, fun, different. Um, you know what? It was a mix of a lot of things from the Amazon to Cusco and Machu Picchu and Lake Titicaca and everything in between. Every place we went, something different was happening. And I think I did a pretty good job of capturing um, a lot of it on those vlogs, even though obviously it's only this much of it. But there was quite a bit on there, at least, to follow us along on the journey. And I hope you enjoyed those vlogs. If you didn't get to see those, I have a playlist for the Peru spiritual journey. And you can go to my playlists. And if you don't know about my playlists, if you go onto my um, main channel page, there is a playlist. And only some of them are listed um, below, but if you click on playlist, you should be able to see I have quite a few playlists on there. So you can find a lot of good videos under topics, so you don't have to go searching for them, like Manifesting in the Law of Attraction. That's a good playlist, but also my travel playlist. Anyway, I highly suggest if you're ever bored or just want to know what our journeys are about to go watch that. We had some really interesting things happen and um, that day that I got really high off the, I, not the ayahuasca, oh my gosh, I didn't do ayahuasca this time. I've done it. I did it the last time I went to Peru. Thank God I didn't do it this time because the people who did do it, let's just say I'm glad I wasn't there. Um, I got high off the coca leaves. <laughs> I didn't mean to, but it happened, and um, I have a video on there, and it's pretty darn funny, actually. At least if you have a sense of humor, it's funny. I would definitely watch that one if you have a good sense of humor. If you don't, don't watch it, please. And if you don't have a sense of humor, probably my channel is not even a channel for you. Um, Anyway, since then, I uh, came back and I had like a month and I had all of these things still to take care of. I had a lot of pressing issues right before I left for Peru and then between the time that I came back from Peru and then I left for Bimini a month later. So I was on super stress getting things done and I don't like to be like that. And one thing I noticed was, you know, coming back from Bimini, also I did a few uploads on Bimini, but I didn't, um, definitely didn't do a great job like I did last time I went to Bimini. But anyway, I did a few there and that trip was so awesome, healing, amazing. I mean, to go from Peru to Bimini, like talk about shaking up your life, cleaning your energy, healing, spinning in vortexes. My life is still spinning right now. I have not landed. In addition to that, my life changed hugely due to an incident right before I went to Peru. So I've been through a lot and I haven't landed. 
and that can sometimes be frustrating. And I just want to tell you, if you ever do anything out of the norm, like go on a trip that's somewhere completely out of your paradigm, or you know, involve yourself in something completely different, you change, but the life that you have built for yourself doesn't necessarily change as quickly or as instantly as you might have. So there could be a level of frustration and confusion and not being so clear upon your return because the trick is not to go back and then settle back into the life the way it used to be. I mean, the goal when you go on these transformational journeys is to you know, change your life, shift your life in better ways that are more beneficial to your dreams and desires, right? So if you come home and start doing things the way you always did it, then pretty much you just went back to what you were doing. And okay, well, that was a nice distraction for a while, but you're not taking full advantage of it. So I have not landed. I have, to be honest, I've been feeling a little bit frustrated. And I would say I would label it as feeling down, but I don't think I'm feeling down more. It's just like not knowing where I fit, like being a key, but not knowing what hole to go into to open. And um, anyway, today I just said, you know what? Today is an amazing day and I'm sticking to it. And today is an amazing day. And I walked across this parking lot and I saw this really beat up nickel laying on the ground and I thought my hands are full but I'm going to bend over and somehow pick up that nickel because I'm not going to leave it there. Today is an amazing day and that's a sign. And what is that a sign of? Sometimes you get change when deceased loved ones are with you and they're trying to give you a message. Sometimes it's the angels just giving you a little sign. Sometimes you might need that nickel later. <laughs> Sometimes it's just that that nickel has attracted you for some reason. But anyway, I picked it up. I will always pick up a penny, anything that I see laying around because it is a sign and it stands for something. And, you know, you have to acknowledge your signs to get your signs. So I picked up that nickel and I thought this poor nickel has been beat up so bad. This is a really beat up nickel and it looks just like how I've been feeling. So I thought that was a funny symbolism, but a nickel is also a five, right? Five cents. Five stands for big change. And so that's a message too, as well as when I found it, I thought of my grandmother who is deceased and she's one of my biggest cheerleaders. And so I felt some comfort knowing that she was giving me a sign that, hey, you're doing good and I'm with you all the way. So I put that nickel on the dashboard of my Jeep and I started driving and I kept getting this message over and over again. I have angels on my side. So I kept feeling that and hearing that message over and over again. I have angels on my side. And you know, when you hear repeated messages, they are messages. And in this case, if it's, you have angels on your side, it's angels letting me know that. And you know, that just brings me so much comfort, really. I mean, I always know that, but it brings a lot of comfort when you really know it, when you get that sign that the angels are on your side. You have angels on your side. And so I was thinking that I have angels on my side. I have angels on my side. And there's a few affirmations that I used to always say, but I always remember, even if I don't say them all the time. Yes. The angels have my back. Angels are on my side 24 seven. I've got angels on my side. And I just wanna to say to you, I have angels on my side and so do you. I want you all to know that you have so many angels that are around you, helping you to, to change your life, help, helping you to change your attitude even, if that's what you need to change your life. And you know, life will dish us up lots of crap that we don't particularly want and it's all in how we deal with it that will make the difference now i never said i was perfect at dealing with crap but i think i do a pretty good job most of the time but other times i really don't do a good job at all 
It just depends on what's going on. Sometimes we are a lot more overwhelmed than other times. Sometimes we are seeing things not really working out and it's hard to keep that faith or that positive attitude. And so sometimes we don't do as well as we could. But eventually you want to say, you know what, I'm just going to make a decision that things are going to be better. I feel like I've been kind of wallowing a little bit in the last, I don't know how long. I've been, I've been through so much stuff, you guys, for too long. Too long. If you, if you knew, you'd be shocked. Um, but, you know, that still at some point I've got to make that decision that I want to feel better. Because wallowing in shit doesn't um, make you feel better. The longer you wallow, the longer you're going to wallow. So even though there's still a lot going on in life that, you know, I don't prefer or whatever you're going through that you don't prefer, you still have to sometimes say this has got to change and I've got to make a conscious decision and effort to make a change. And so this morning... I said, today is an amazing day, no matter what, today is an amazing day. And it felt so good just to say that. Did I have a reason for that? Not necessarily. I mean, yes, it's always amazing to wake up and have a roof over your head and food to eat and all those things. Yes. But is there, was there something out of the ordinary that was making me feel like it was amazing? Hell no. But I decided that no matter what, today was going to be an amazing day. And then I found that nickel right away. And even though it's just a nickel, it didn't matter. It was, um, it was a validation, a confirmation from the universe saying, you're right, it is an amazing day. Look, you found a nickel, and then that nickel had all kinds of messages, and then it opened me up to hearing the angels saying, you got angels on your side. Um, and then hearing that over and over in my head, I knew the angels were really trying to impress that upon me. It made me feel so comforted and good. Like, yes, how could I forget? How could I forget this feeling of having angels on my side? And you know what? The angels have never failed me. I have to say, if it wasn't for the angels, I wouldn't have gotten through everything that I've gotten through, everything that I've accomplished, everything that I've learned. The angels have never failed me. The only time that... I get away from it is when I get away from it. And I'm not saying I ever get away from my angels, but, you know, with anything in life, sometimes you focus on things more than others. But just coming back to myself today and saying, you know what, today's going to be an amazing day no matter what, that was enough to shift my energy and then connect back in with my angels in a way that just felt so uplifting to me today. And whenever I have the angels on my side, when I'm, whenever I'm really consciously working with them and I feel connected to them, life just starts shifting in way better ways. All of a sudden, everything starts working out. And so I guess what I'm here to say besides my update is consciously say today is an amazing day and I got angels by my side. How could today not be amazing with angels by my side? I mean, what a gift. What a blessing. And look for the signs because then the angels will start giving you signs. And just expect things to start flowing for you and happening in wonderful, easy ways. Because that's what the angels do for you when you're working with them. And you let go of the resistance. You let go of the fear you let go of the frustration and and the feeling that, you know, I don't know what's going on or this stuff keeps happening or I'm so overwhelmed, I'm so stressed out. I have every reason to be overwhelmed and stressed out right now, but I'm not even going to entertain that for one second. And I'm not going to even be frustrated anymore because I spent enough days being frustrated and it doesn't feel good. And I just feel better that I have these angels by my side. I always knew I did, but I just wasn't tapping, in, tapping into that energy. I just wasn't there. But the way to get there is to just make that declaration, make that decision. Today is amazing. Today I feel good. Today things are going my way. Today the universe is aligning with me. And I'll just say one last thing, message I really got today was, 
be yourself. Like, stop reaching out around the world or around your experience and trying to get it to work for you. Instead, everything starts inside, right? I know you guys have heard that. We all know it. But really sitting down and just taking a breath and saying, you know what? I am the core of my universe. I am the center of my universe. And I'm going to be at peace in this center. The center of my universe, I am going to ground it. I'm going to connect it with source energy. I'm going to surround myself with angels. And I'm just going to have that trust and faith in my heart. And I'm going to just be a pleasant, centered, light source of my universe. And from my heart, I'm going to decide what I desire right now. And it's not going to be a needy desire. It's not going to be like, when is it? Where is it? How is it? It's going to be, no, this is my desire. And so it is. This is my desire. And so it is because I am the center of my universe. I am the source and the light force and the life, life force of my universe. And I am just going to sit with myself and allow the universe to line up with me and allow all these experiences to be one with me. Because when we do it the other way, where we're saying, I don't have this, I need this, I'm unhappy, I feel frustrated, I don't understand where I am, what I need to be doing, and you're looking around and you're trying to figure it out. Whenever you're looking around outside yourself, it just becomes a crazy, confusing, pretty, um, unfulfilling experience but when you can come back to yourself and get inside of yourself and live from your heart not from your head like live from your heart what is it that I desire right now what is it that is right now because this is what I am going to be right now everything else aligns with my being and then this is a whole different experience so get back to yourself let go of all that stuff that keeps you down keeps you frustrated and confused keeps you feeling in lack of whatever it is because the longer you play in that dimension the longer you're going to play in that dimension and it really is about making a conscious decision and coming back to yourself and letting everything respond to what the way you are being because it is responding to the way you are being but maybe that's not the responses you're looking for so get centered back into your heart like i said and be what it is that you desire so everything can respond to your desires so that's my update where i've been what i'm up to back to business as usual I don't have specific travel plans right now, although I do feel like I'm going to go on a trip and I don't know why or when or where. It could it could just come up out of nowhere. But besides that, I think I have a Hawaii retreat scheduled for February. I'm putting together an Iceland uh, adventure retreat where hopefully we will see the northern lights, but definitely we will be going to some amazing nature spots and going to the hot springs. The nature there is just completely mind-blowing, magical. That's where they film Lord of the Rings, so just imagine. So if you want to be a part of that, it's going to be later next year. I don't have dates yet, but I'm working on that. And of course we're going to do Bimini in May. And I don't know what else. I know that there's a few places that I want to go. I just haven't had time to really map it all out yet. But that's basically what's up with me. I hope you're all doing great. I really would love to do videos on a consistent basis. So I am working out my schedule to see if that can happen. I just wanted to give you a little update and let you know that you have angels on your side. And now that you know that, you can do what it takes to realign, so you can let everything align with your being. Nice to connect with you all. Lots of love and many blessings. I will see you all.
later.